Hey guys, it's me Nita and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I package up my Etsy orders. Let me go ahead and show you really quick what orders we're going to be packaging up. If you watched my last work with me video, um, you would have seen all these orders that I worked on. It was actually like a week long work with me video. Um, so definitely go check that out. I'll have that linked up here for you guys. But I'll show you what orders we're going to go ahead and package up and I'll show you what I include with my packaging, how to print out labels, all that stuff. So um, make sure to stick around and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So let's just get started. Okay, so we have one bell bottom outfit. Um, I love how this design turned out. It's super easy, it's a quick stitch out, no applique, so basically once you hoop it onto the machine, you don't really have to worry too much about it. So that's kind of nice for this order. Um, I have a rainbow sister set, a big sis and a little sis. This is one of my top sellers from my Etsy shop. Um, so I make a bunch of these. Eventually, one day, hopefully I'll get a DTG machine and I'll be able to uh, just do these shirts on a DTG. But currently I make most of my shirts with HTV. Um, I have this family set, mommy, daddy, and a brother, little mo brother of the little monster. I'm assuming that this little set that they ordered is for a baby announcement, so that's super cool um, that Need and Thread uh, gets to be a part of that exciting moment. Um, I have a donut grow up outfit. This is one of the original donut outfits that I came out with, and I gradually started adding some other donut designs, but this uh, design has helped start like my successful experience I guess with um, making baby clothes and selling them on Etsy so this is another top seller of mine this was actually a custom um, outfit this design usually just comes with three donuts but this little girl she's turning five so the mom wanted to do five donuts so basically I just added these extra two little donuts to the end and she ordered a pair of bell bottoms uh, this is a repeat customer and a follower. She has bought three baby blankets from me and then these four t-shirts. So if you're watching this video, thank you so much. Like I truly appreciate each and every one of you guys and I just, I appreciate you guys supporting my shop as well. You guys don't know how much it means to not only me, but to my little family. So <laughs> thank you so much, uh, Patty, for ordering these shirts um, from me. It means a lot. Um, but these are two original designs that I came up with. Um, my momster zombie shirt because this is like me every day. I feel like a zombie because I'm a mom of two little ones, two toddlers. Uh, so I'm constantly tired. So this shirt totally fits me. And then I wanted, I wanted to come up with a dad themed one. So I came up with this Dagula design. And I seriously love how that turned out. And then I have a bunch of different ghost designs on my Etsy shop. Um, I have girl versions and just a ton of different like ghost themed shirts. Um, and I really love how these turned out. This is a um, DTF. So this shirt, this shirt, and this shirt. These were made with direct to film transfers. My husband, he actually um, has a DTF printer, so he's able to print out any image that I want, any colorful image, um, and I'm able to put it onto a t-shirt. It does have like a, a fill of like HTV, so these two shirts were made with HTV, these three shirts, and these two shirts were made with HTV. Doing HTV shirts have really helped grow my business. It's just a little bit more time consuming and a lot more steps with the weeding and layering the vinyl. With DTF, you literally just will print out a design onto a plastic sheet, and you would just heat that sheet, um, heat press that sheet onto whatever material that you like, cotton, polyester, um, you name it. Any type of fabric DTF can go onto. So yeah, these are the orders that will be packaging up. I've actually had two busy busy weeks and I'm running a Labor Day sale so so far I haven't had too many sales for my Labor Day sale but um, I'm hoping by the end of the weekend I'll have a bunch more sales but 
I'm pretty cleared out. I think I have three open orders after I package these up. Um, so I don't have a lot more work after I'm done with these shirts. So uh, let's go ahead and let's get started and let's talk about what materials I use to pack and ship out all my Etsy orders. Okay guys, so don't mind my face and my hair right now. It's like one in the morning right now. Um, but anyways, let's talk about the materials I use to package and ship my items. So depending on the size and how big the item is and how much it weighs, I package it a little differently. Um, so for my poly mellers, I have two sizes. I have a 10 by 13 and a 12 by 16. Now I have all these listed down in the description below. I get all these from Amazon. So there's some links down below if you guys wanna get the specific size or the specific poly mailer or whatever that I have in this video. So I have these two sizes. I use the smaller ones for kid items such as my, my kids shirts, my baby blanket loveys. Those are little tiny little baby blankets. So I use uh, this size poly mailer for those. My bigger blankets, again, I'll use this one. Um, so that's what I ship them in. Um, for some reason, if the customer wants priority mail or if the item weighs more than a pound but can fit into a flat rate envelope, I usually will use a, um, a flat rate envelope or a flat rate um, padded envelope. This one's a little bit more expensive, I believe around like 50 cents more than this one. So I usually try and ship them, ship them in this but this has a little bit more room, I feel like. So sometimes I'll use these because these are the cheapest of the priority mail. Um, I believe this is around $8 and this is around $8.50. Um, if you, you can also use priority mail, small, medium, and large boxes. Um, the small boxes are super tiny. You can't really fit much into those. The medium flat rate boxes, um, usually around like 13 to 15 dollars to ship out and then for the large flat rate it's i think 20 or 25 don't i'm i'm not 100 percent sure on the pricing for the large because i rarely ever use that if i have any items that i ship out that are super heavy um, are pretty bulky, I use UPS. Um, I find that to be a lot cheaper than shipping through USPS. Um, now, when I put the items into the poly mailers, I don't just put them in the bag. I usually put them in um, these self-sealed bags. I have three sizes. This is a six by nine. I use these for when I sell small items such as like really itty bitty onesies or if I sell um, like fat quarters because I also sell fabric too. Um, I'll fit the smaller items into these bags. For like my kids shirts, my bell bottom outfits, um, for like the smaller kids, I'll use these small size bags. These are the same size as the poly mailers which is a 10 by 13. So I'll use this size for like my kids shirts, um, a, the smaller adult shirts, and then um, like if I sell a yard of fabric, I'll use this. Now if I'm selling like a baby blanket or like a bell bottom outfit for a larger kid or any adult shirts, I use my big clear self-sealed bags and this one is the 12 by 16, so this is the larger one. Again, I have all this stuff listed in the description, so if you guys want a snag of any of these little clear baggies, definitely go check the links down below. I get a lot of questions on what sizes I use. Again, those are all in the description. Eventually, when my business starts to pick up more and um, I'm making more money for my business, I do wanna switch over to a more eco-friendly um, packaging system. But currently, right now, this is the most affordable option for me and for my business. Um, but that's definitely a goal of mine is to have more eco-friendly um, packaging. And because I have to work in a kind of small space, um, I have to use what area, like the amount of space that I have wisely. So I just like to use um, this little container. I got this from Michaels. Um, but this is my packaging bin, basically. So all my packaging stuff I put in here. Um, I'm thinking I might need a second one because this one's getting pretty full. Okay, some other items that I include on my packaging or in my packaging. I like to include stickers. 
um, that say two different things. I like to use two different ones. I have a larger sized one and a smaller sized one. The smaller one says handmade with love uh, during nap time. Now most of the time that I work is usually when my kids are sleeping. Currently I'm working late at night so that one should say uh, handmade with love during bedtime. So this one says thank you for supporting this mama owned business um, and then it has my logo down on the bottom. So I like to include this one on the outside of the package and then I like to include this one on the clear plastic bags that I put inside of the um, packaging. Also because a lot of these shirts um, have special care options I like to include this little card that has like thin care instructions. I just have my Cricut cut these out. My Cricut actually went a little crazy and cut a lot of these all like horribly, but um, I'm still gonna use them. I don't want them to go to waste, but basically I have a little tiny card. It's kind of tiny. I'm thinking the next time I make these, I might make them a little bit bigger, but honestly, you don't need them to be very big as long as the customer can read it and understand what the care instructions are. I think that's all that really matters. Um, so I'm just going to use these for now and then when I run out I'll make them just slightly bigger. Um, and then and then I like to keep all my invoices in these little clear plastic um, folders and then while I'm working on orders any like HTV that I have pre-cut I'll put it inside the envelope or these clear plastic sleeves. Um, if, sh if I have shirts that I need to pull, I'll usually pull the shirts and if they fit, I'll put them in here. If not, I'll just have a little bin of, of all my shirts. Same thing for like if I'm doing embroidery, I'll pull the kids shirts, put them in here. If I'm cutting bell bottoms, I'll cut all the pieces and put them in here. Once I sew the bell bottoms um, to help me stay organized, I put the bell bottoms back into these sleeves. So I know which size they are um, because I like to add sizing tags to them, but that's like my very, very last step. So to help me make sure that I send out the right size to the right customer, I like to keep them all in these clear plastic folders. Um, I got this idea from Bingham Bliss. Definitely, if you haven't already, definitely go check out that channel. Super helpful. She's super organized and... This whole method has been a big game changer on helping me stay organized with my small business. So I think that's it for packaging stuff. Let's go ahead and let's just package up these orders. I'm going to show you guys how I package everything up and then I'll show you guys how I print out my shipping labels. Oh, um, also I got these little containers too from Michaels for like a dollar. Um, I've been obsessed with these and I've been using these actually for like all my... Um, tags it's just helping me keep everything organized and not all messy so let's go ahead and let's pull my, my first order is a custom order it's just um, some bell bottoms with a donut t-shirt um, I like to fold up the shirts all nice and neatly I know some people I know some people will use the original packaging for their like blanks shirts that they get for embroidery. Um, it comes with a bag um, for the shirt, but I like to have my shirt with the bell bottom so I kind of package it all together so I don't use the original packaging. I also add hang tags to all my bell bottoms. So um, I just like to do a quick check of the items, make sure I have the right sizes, the right personalization, make sure I have the name spelt correctly, and then I like to make sure it's folded. I'll usually do a good lint roll, but I already lint rolled it before I did this video, so um, I would do a good lint roll and then fold it all nicely. I'm going to add my care card. I'm going to add my packing slip. Now usually I'll have the whole packing slip like completely open but because um, this part shows like the address I don't want to show you guys that but um, usually I'll have the invoice completely open so I can see the name because that'll help me with packaging and not getting people's orders mixed up. And then on the invoice too it states what type of mail or like how the customer wants you to ship out their item. Sometimes customers will upgrade 
their packaging or upgrade their shipping to Priority Mail or Priority Mail Express. So definitely keep a lookout for that um, when packaging up your order because a customer might want you to send it out with next day shipping or two to three day shipping. So make sure you're checking what they would like for their shipping method. Then I'm gonna add one of my Handmade with Love stickers. Just like that, just something small and simple. Now I'm gonna do my big one that says thank you for supporting this mama owned small business. And then to help me stay organized, I just write the customer's name on the package. So when I print out the shipping label, I know which label to put on which package. And then I have my little sticker on the back. But basically that's what I do for um, my packaging. So let's just go ahead and package up the rest of these orders.
So all my packages are packaged up. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these over to my laptop and with my little food scale that I got off of Amazon, I'm going to weigh each package and then print out the shipping labels and then I'll attach the shipping labels to the packages. So let's head over to my computer. Okay guys, so I have all my packages in this little white basket. They're ready to go to put labels on. I have my thermal label printer. I have a Munbin brand. Um, I love this thing. It doesn't use any ink or anything. It uses these special labels that are heat activated or thermal. They're basically just thermal labels. And um, you don't use any ink. It just uses the heat to print out the label for you. So um, very cost efficient, I guess. I feel like I've saved more money having one of these versus using my printer and printing out the labels because before I got this, I was printing out each label, cutting them out, and then using a ton of tape to tape them onto the package. And I think this is just more, it's just more cost efficient um, in the long run. Uh, so I have this linked down below for you guys if you guys want to check that out. Um, it's down in the description. Um, I have my scale right here ready to go. So I have my Etsy orders up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click which ones I'm going to print out. Um, I didn't make all of my Etsy orders or I didn't complete all my Etsy orders. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the ones that I did finish. Okay, so I have all the ones clicked that I'm going to be printing out, so I'm going to go to shipping labels now. So I print out all of my labels from Etsy. I don't use anything else um, when it comes to Etsy. Now, if I get a sell on my website, I use stamps.com to be able to um, print out my labels. So um, Etsy, I keep it on Etsy. If I get something on Shopify, then I use stamps.com. Anyway, so I'm going to go and weigh each of my items um, and I'll print out the label then. So I am going to print out the label for this flat rate envelope. So with these till packages, when I um, have package type, I'll do package thick envelope. But because I'm doing a flat rate envelope, um, I want to make sure it says priority mail, but I also want to make sure that I mark flat rate envelope. Now if I'm using one of the padded flat rate envelopes, I would make sure and press that because they are different in costs. So I'm just going to click USPS flat rate envelope and make sure that is marked as priority mount and then I'm good to go.
All right, guys, well, that's how I package up my Etsy orders. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little quick little video on how I package up and ship out my packages. So I'm gonna be shipping these all out tomorrow morning. I think I only have like three or four open orders left, so I won't have to work for the rest of the weekend. I'll be able to enjoy this Labor Day weekend. Um, and I will get back to work on orders on Monday. Um, and get those orders shipped out on Tuesday, but I got this big old basket done and completed and I'm gonna go to bed now. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions about shipping, uh, make sure and leave those comments down below. And if you guys haven't already also, uh, make sure to go join my Facebook group. I have um, that links down below. Just, I have a lot of things linked down below, so if you guys just want to go check out the description after this video, um, that would be awesome. Also, I want to give a big shout out to you guys. My channel um, is continuing to steadily grow, and um, I just want to thank you guys so much for the constant support. You guys um, are the best followers ever. And I just want to give a big shout out to all the people who have been um, placing orders and buying shirts from me and outfits. Um, I appreciate you guys so much and my little family appreciates you guys so much too. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I will see you guys in the next video, bye.